In today's video, we'll cover the final tournament in Chapter 5, Season 1. In this video, I'll be breaking down my thought process as we did shockingly well in only four games played. Now, before we dive into the rest of the video, I want to take a quick moment to thank Lawser for the kind words. If you want to be featured in my next video, comment down below. For those of you unfamiliar with these tournaments, Epic wanted to, quote, mix things up with the scoring and the format. Each week is supposed to have a different rule set to bring some variety and fun to the game. Now, the scoring for this week was one point per elimination and 25 points per win. That means we have to win at all costs. Now, into the games. The first fight we take here is kind of a edge one outside of Ritzy Riviera. You can see I get a good beam on the first guy. Uh, and I'm just looking to get a quick finish and I see his teammate off to my right. Um, in hindsight, I probably just hold this angle a little bit better. I do land a good initial pump uh, and SSJ covers me well from the distance. And we're just looking to play very aggressive this first game, get as many eliminations as possible. SSJ jumps up onto this guy. He calls out it's a solo. I try and just support from a distance. I'd rather get angles and help from afar versus trying to grapple up um, and leave him you know, alone for a brief period of time and make quick work of the second teammate as well. We then realize that the Peter Medallion is not taken yet and we try and go in um, and get it just for that free shield and uh, get the vault. I want to try and get a sniper rifle just because of how strong they are this season. And one thing to note as you fight these um, NPCs is we just focus Peter right away. Uh, we want to burst him down together. We're going for the most damage with uh, aiming for the headshot. And um, yeah, another, I would say, trick is just to um, avoid the other NPCs and focus him. We can continue on through the game. Uh, SSJ pickup. An elimination below him there again playing a very aggressive we know we have medallion we see in the mini map there's multiple medallions on our location uh ssj also then calls out a guy from here and he makes quick work of that guy too uh, so we know we actually have two individual teams because those are both um, knocks we see this guy's a solo and i call hey let's jump on him um, in hindsight, I need to hold a right hand peak on the edge of this bunker and not jump in and trade like I did um, because I overextend. Uh, I actually go down and SSJ then is able to pull off a revive, but another team comes in their party. So if I take an appropriate angle uh, and just traded slowly versus flying right in there, I would still be up. I would be able to move away quickly um, and I wouldn't be as panicked in this scenario. So here I'm just like burning um, a bunker. I'm just trying to grapple in because I have no white heels. I actually miss a mythic auto shotgun, which by the way is maybe the strongest, if not one of the strongest items in the game. Game, and I just totally miss it in my flurry to leave um, the area. And so I just bunker an edge because I know this team is close. I've been looking at my mini map, trying to figure out where they are. I take a moment to reset and reload everything before I look for them. I actually get visuals above me. And I land a pretty good headshot snipe here. And SSJ and I both key up to get this quickly. Uh, we know his teammates running off in the distance. And we just take a quick moment then to we hit some white heels like versus just chase this guy. Uh, again, I'm pretty low from that fight. He needs to get uh, a make it off as well. So we take a moment to do that. Then we move on later into this game. And in this tournament, there was a fun bug where you could build. So uh, we had to play the rule set. So that's why you see SSJ building there. I uh, actually didn't have any build by and set um, for this tournament. So he's the one that just built for our whole team. Pick up another couple of eliminations as people rotate in. We used our bunker for cover there. Again, kind of playing the side versus just full peeking. And we want them to come to us and us get first shot advantage. Juggle some heels up to my teammate. And we know, again, we're playing this specific position because we have four gaps tower. You can see on the minimap there, uh, we are in this circle, but we're also in next circle. And we know that based off of um, our forecast. And so we just take um, some time to post up here, look for further eliminations. We have 11 so far, um, and we'll continue to chase a few more down. We know there's a guy below us here. SSJ just jumps on him, cleans that up quickly. 
Then uh, we're down to three teams left. So you can see there's six uh, total people remaining. We are two of them. That means there's four more. Um, and we realize it is two duos. Spray out the tree here, get that guy kind of moving. And in hindsight, watching this back, I probably need to move up to this hill to my right uh, a little bit sooner. I'm holding this slowly, um, but I could get probably more of an aggressive position. Um, and eventually we do make that move here, but uh, something I could maybe recognize a little bit quicker. Uh, I've been trying to rotate slower this season, and this is one scenario where I don't think you necessarily need to. And, uh, SSJ is kind of ramping over them to get height advantage on these guys uh, as they are playing low ground. He actually gets beamed a little bit, uh, but then we force this guy to rotate from behind the tree, and they end up fighting down here in the water. Um, I make a com here where I say, oh, they're not, they're not, or they're traded, they're trading, and they're not actually traded. Uh, and so I sell him a little bit here. You can see there's still two up. Uh, and then SSJ goes for the last guy. Um, he calls out that he's low, so I know I can just jump in and finish this here. So we get our 13 elimination, 25 points as well for the win. It's a very, very good first game. Uh, we'll take that. The second game, we are actually uncontested off spawn. And again, our whole mentality of landing snooty is to just try and loot up and rotate away. Um, here we are later in the game. We haven't seen anyone yet. Uh, we are playing for our, our cash specifically because that gives us the 500 metal, the building materials uh, to be able to build this tournament. You can see the guys in front of us are actually already built. They've been like box fighting over here. Again, this is just a zero build tournament. For some reason, building was enabled. Uh, I put on some cover shots. He goes in, grabs those materials. And then again, we also forecast this game. Uh, we decided to post up here on top of this house. And in hindsight, it's probably not so great to just like alpha a spot uh, just because you don't have a lot of builds to like hold walls here. And again, this actually kind of hurts us in the long run as his Jake gets sprayed out and headshot sniped, which is a great play from him. You often see that in builds, but you know, the idea that that's even put into a zero build tournament is I guess kind of crazy. So I'm just forced to rat here um, and kind of trying to get a little sneaky spot up into the top of this house. Um, these are really great spots to hide if you guys are ratting as a solo, try and look up and you can often find um, little corners like this to hide in. Then here I am, uh, end game, just trying to make something happen. I see this guy go for the vending and I think my EMPs maybe hit this telephone pole or didn't quite get over some invisible barrier. I don't know, I don't hit him at all here. But then I do hit him as he rotates in okay. and then look to clean up this elimination. Uh, again, eliminations are one point. <laughs> this is our only point this game. Uh, I go down for this grapple because you can see I have no further utility. I, I don't have build binds. And uh, all I can do is just kind of grapple in. Um, I get a little unfortunately focused on this rotation, but you know, it's just how it goes. I don't have any bunkers. See everyone else in the lobby is starting to build. Uh, but I just go for a rotation because I'm getting shot from height. I'm fortunate to run into this other team and go down. Game three uh, gets a little bit crazy. We are actually uh, uncontested off spawn, but that doesn't stay like that for very long. So quickly, our whole POI again. is overtaken by um, multiple duos. You can see SSJ is running here in this clip, and I'm just trying to cover him with the sniper um, and try and be a good teammate without uh, you know, fully committing to this fight. I know there's multiple teams on Peter House. I land a good body shot here. Unfortunately, not a headshot snipe, and I get beamed a little bit, and this guy uh, keys over uh, because of that. And then we cover him well. And we actually know who this is that we knock in the feed and we say, you know what, we're just going to camp this guy's card because uh, we don't want him coming back into the game and it haunting us later. So we sit on this guy's card uh, and uh, we actually eventually get the elimination on both of them. Um, again, it, you know, it's just an unfortunate part of the game. Uh, people know who you are, who they aren't are. Um, people will camp on cards and we decided to do that this game uh, just because uh, I think this guy has a uh, special special PC where you can see everything so anyway besides that point I get uh, then sniped here rotating out I guess that's karma for holding the card and uh, SSJ then gets the reboot and I am back into the game here we are end game standing in our metal base and uh, even from this position, we're built up and safe, but uh, we kind of get focused here because we're edged, low ground. A lot of people are just looking to, to spray out our walls. Um, 
And, uh, you know, again, we don't have a lot of builds. I think you ended up with like 500 metal from a cache, and that was like the only way to get builds in zero build here. Okay. Let's get front side and box, maybe. Actually, I can muck her. We go late, we go late, we go late. Then go late. I'm Everyone's calling to say, hey, let's front side rotate. Let's take our time. We don't want to go uh, too quickly. And hit this front side rotation. We are just uh, chilling here in our bunker. Then we can kind of rotate on in. Uh, SSJ calls to go through the house. So I just follow him on this rotation. And then we get a little uh, unfortunate, I guess, engagements here. I pick up one elimination through the house, scare this other guy off. And I'm just playing the floppers. Floppers give 40 white health in the storm. You can see it's like a 10 tick storm right now. So I am uh, in a quick hurry to get out of this thing. I grapple forward and this bunker i don't actually throw it forward i throw it um uh, well maybe i do throw it forward i don't know either way terrible bunker um <laughs> the zone pulls all the way up over the hill right to where this team is and we get but i guess that's how it goes uh game number three we are totally contested off spawn and um by totally contested, I just lied. We're not totally contested. We have multiple enemies coming in on us here. Grab this grapple. And we loot quickly because we want to try and get um, a few more eliminations if possible off of spawn. SSJ gets this guy behind the house. We're looking for his teammate and we kind of see him run off into the distance here. Oh, yeah, and I say, going. yep, let's just jump on this guy. We want to try and get our uh, second elimination if we can. I don't really know where he went. This guy just crash batted seemingly nowhere. Uh, but thankfully, SSJ uh, saw him over going into this tunnel. Uh, I see in my visuals here that he's actually coming through the other side. So we pinch him. There's no way out of this tunnel other than the entrance on both sides. I throw uh, EMPs just to try and flush him out. Neither of those hit. Uh, but we push at the same time. Right, and he's on SSJ's side, and we pick up this second elimination. They're at gas. I see them. Then right we're rotating in again. We want to just play very aggressive. We're trying to get as many eliminations as we can in this big uh, key game. Body shot me. And I actually get yep. body sniped here. Yeah. And actually, this is our fourth game now that I remember. Yeah. I think I said third previously, but this is our fourth game. Um, I'm trying to get angles on these guys below us. And he actually gets body sniped. I hit a couple of good headshots on this guy. And I want to talk about how I bunker here. I bunker to my left specifically because I know he's healthier. And I want to get the guy I body shot sniped earlier and got white, uh, got low. And I finish up that elimination. And this guy keys out of my original bunker. And I clean up the fight. A successful 1v2, but that bunker specifically sealed off the second guy from being able to fight me. So just a little bit of uh, uh, notes there. Uh, I quickly loot and I see visuals behind me. There's an enemy looking to engage on this fight. Um, and I try and go for a quick little snipe. Uh, SSG is wondering why I'm not getting his card. I'm like, well, there's more people here. They uh, heard the shots and are here to try and clean up uh, what they can. I do take a quick moment to reload everything, try and assess the situation. And watching this fight back again, I play pretty aggressive here. I don't need to move up like this. I should just play distance. I should be spraying from afar. You can see I get really close to these guys. I, I kind of beam that one, but then I have to burn one bunker and then another bunker here because I, uh, you know, I just need the cover. But I could have saved those. I played a little bit slower, tried to line up a snipe perhaps, um, and beam from a distance, because at this point I do have Nisha's AR, which is arguably the best gun in the game. Uh, it's something that I could have used uh, a little bit better. But regardless, uh, I finally do play some distance here. I realize kind of like, okay, I need to um, play far from the one we do and not let them jump on me and shotgun, you know? They actually don't know I left this bunker. They are spraying out the wall, trying to find me. I land a good body shot here, which kind of gives me the go button for this fight. This guy challenges me on height, which was a mistake. And uh, clean that guy up. This guy hops up to try and fight me as well. And here in hindsight, I should probably play my original bunker where it's ramped towards him, but I don't do that. I've, I'm kind of uh, a little bit frazzled to be honest at this point. I'm stopping to reload everything. Sure enough, he's chasing with a grapple. Uh, he hits me again. 
and uh, he decides to kind of follow me down this hill. But now I realize, okay, I've got Nisha's AR. I can absolutely fry this guy. He's just running in the open. And the one v four is complete. Then I get SSJ back up into the game. And at this point, we kind of assess, hey, you know what? This is um, our fourth game. Do we want to try and back out and be done? Or, you know what? Hey, actually, I've got double medallion and Nisha's AR. I've kind of got all the loot we need. I've also got the mythic pump at this point. Um, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just stick in the game. We're trying to find these guys in the Ship It Express container. We just heard them fighting previously, and we're not quite sure where they are. Um, I do finally see this guy kind of moving in the building, land a good body shot, and again, we're playing tempo. We know we have double medallion. We've got double mythic uh, items. We're just trying to get aggressive, and fortunately for this guy, the top of the building was broken out. He probably did not know that, uh, and I almost max bump him here. SSJ jumps in and makes clean work of it. And one thing I want to talk about here is that um, SSJ comes, hey, he's dropping down, and I go to the left outside of the building, um, just not listening to my teammate. So in hindsight, I need to go back into the building where, hey, he's dropping. This is a 1v2 if he drops on me. Um, then, you know, SSJ doesn't get thirsted right away. Uh, it's probably a closer fight. Uh, we just do our damage together. But I do uh, make clean work of it and uh, get the reboot anyway. But it kind of saves you from those third party scenarios. If there's another team lurking or someone, you know, heard those shots and came over, it could have been really, really bad and our game could have been over. So uh, always trying to get a little bit better with our analysis and game. I'll just get it back up and we see this other team floating in the water and then a good body shot. SSJ cleans up that, that and uh, then we decide, okay, you know what? We're going to actually just back up to There's our builds here. We've got our little metal fortress. Take a quick back. moment to reset. Um, I actually know that yeah, there is okay. multiple medallions on edge by us and we actually run into them here. Uh, I nearly go down. I get sprayed pretty hard and I kind of drop to hit some heals, but then I realize SSJ is just 1v2 up there. I need to get back up. He's basically box fighting him. I need to get into the builds and uh, help my teammate. I take a quick moment to reload, land a good body shot there, and realize we just need to be the aggressor in this fight. We need to um, pick it before they can spray something out or get a good beam on us, so we just go for the edit play and jump right on these guys. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm really proud of my aggressive plays this season just because I think it's something that I wouldn't normally do, but they're executed perfectly. We win the 2v2 heads up. I think we've got both have two medallions. We have both mythic shotguns at this point. Uh, we're just stacked and uh, we're actually in a 2v2 scenario at the final um, point of this game. And uh, SSJ calls, he sees one on the house. I don't necessarily see what he's seeing. I start rotating a little bit left for an angle. I see the other teammate. He's over there on a bunker and uh, watching this back again. We probably just should jump on one of them. You know, one's at the house, one's in the bunker based off of communication and our teamwork. Uh, we need to just jump on one and, and single them out. And we eventually do make that play here on the guy on the left, but it's something that could have happened sooner before they got together. This is definitely an advantage this entire time. Um, and it just took me probably too long to realize that. That's a very close headshot snipe uh, but you know you live and you learn you vote review and do stuff like this uh, and you try to make a better play next time so I jump in i take a lot of damage here and uh just literally don't hit either pump shot but that's okay uh we got him and then here comes his teammate to try and save him and this guy hit better 100 and then like 115 or something spray um, and it's a pretty easy cleanup then for SSJ. So guys, I hope you really liked this video. Again, we did pretty good overall. Two wins out of four games um, in a wins only format. Uh, eliminations only, I'll take it. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing with SSJ at the last couple tournaments this season. Guys, be sure to use code Tilt Truth in the Fortnite item shop for plus 5 8. Hashtag guys. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. These take a lot of time and effort to edit and upload and adjust. So I uh, would love for you guys to be a part of the community. More. Yeah, I'm also going to be live streaming this on YouTube, so be sure to check that out. And we'll catch you guys oh all God. in the video.